A new race is coming into town for triathletes to put their endurance and skills to the test. The inaugural Professional Triathletes Organization Asian Open kicks off in Singapore in August. That's right. And athletes will be able to soak in the sights of Marina Bay as they swim two kilometers and cycle 80 kilometers and finish off with an 18 kilometer run. Now to tell us more, we're joined by Sam Ranufi, CEO of the Professional Triathletes Organization and triathlete Willie Liu. Good evening, gentlemen. It's good to see you. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Hi there. Well, Sam, let's start with you. Can you share more with us about uh, the history of uh, these races and, and what compelled you and your team to actually choose Singapore as the site for this inaugural uh, Asia Open? Yes, well, look, as you just said, it. this is the inaugural event for the PTO to come to Asia, and we're thrilled that Singapore is going to be home for the Asian Open for the next three years. Not just that it's our home, but that we'll be, the event will be taking place in the iconic Marina Bay. Well, Willie, uh, let's bring you into the conversation. Now, you have represented Team Singapore at three SEA Games. Uh, this new event that you're taking part in now, is this any, going to be any easier or more difficult? Uh, it's definitely going to be a little bit more demanding uh, just because the distances are more than double what I did for uh, the SEA Games when I represented Team Singapore. So the two kilometer swim, uh, 80k bike, um, and the 18k run uh, is going to require a lot more training and just a, a lot more planning on the day itself. Mm. It's a, a very taxing sort of list of uh, events, uh, Sam. Uh, not for the faint-hearted, of course. Registrations open today. What kind of turnout are you hoping to achieve? Yes, well, actually, this event is unique in Asia in that we combine a professional event that will be broadcast all around the world on, you know, um, on television. And then we'll also have the opportunity for what's known as experienced amateur athletes, so those who aspire to being top triathletes to also take part. Um, we launched registration this morning, and I was told just before I, I hopped on air with you all that we've got less than 100 places to go. So if you haven't secured your spot, um, act quick. Sam, tell us more about the uh, amateur rate, the, the amateur event. I mean, what kind of individual do you expect to uh, to sign up for something like this? What kind of uh, you know sort of uh, uh, you know talents should they have uh, by way of, of the events? Well, there's there's really kind of two two choices. Um, if you're an experienced amateur, so that means you've done triathlon before, you've done open water swimming, then there's a unique opportunity to compare yourself to the professionals by doing the full 100 kilometer race. So that's as you said before, two kilometer swim in the Marina Bay, 80 kilometer bike ride around the Marina Bay Financial District, and then finishing with 18 kilometer run into the gardens by the bay. But if you're not as experienced as that or don't want quite that kind of challenge, there are also two relay categories where you can get together. With with your friends or with the corporates, put a team together and split that race up amongst uh, three or up to 10 people. So lots of opportunities for amateurs to join the, you know, the greatest athletes on the planet racing around one of the greatest cities on the planet. Well, Sam, uh, that sounds a great deal of fun, uh, but for that very reason, you are preparing for different kinds of contests all taking place, possibly all at the same time. As an organizer, that I assume would uh, pose some very particular challenges for you. Uh, absolutely. And we're you're hugely grateful for all the support we've had from lots of different government departments in Singapore. This event, although we're only announcing it and launching it today for registration, has been over a year in the making. Because it's, you know, it's very impactful to, to shut down sections of a city to, to have a triathlon. Really, it's comparable probably for, for those in Singapore to, to the Formula One event, which has been so successful these last 10 years. And we're super excited to be bringing uh, what will be the biggest triathlon in Asia to Singapore. Sam's mentioned the, you know, the, the history of this, the 10 years of it. But uh, we mustn't forget... Uh, we've just come through the, the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, Willie, what was it like for you sort of post-pandemic? I mean, first of all, I imagine things were different with, uh, with the scene um, and with events, of course, being sort of curtailed uh, all around the world. How are you going to be preparing for this race over the next few months? You know, did the, the pandemic at all impact your training schedule? 
Uh, it definitely did. I think it was really tough for a lot of the athletes, even the very motivated ones, to continue to try and train through the pandemic. So we were always looking forward to when's the next race, you know, when, which countries are going to open up. Uh, any sort of glimmer of hope, you know, we would sort of write down the race and then we'd try to train towards that. So now that things have really opened up and uh, all the borders are, uh, are clear, and it was such a big race with the PTO coming into Singapore. It's, it's a race that I think a lot of the Singapore-based athletes have looked forward to, you know, with, with a lot of us that followed um, the event. Uh, it's been broadcast on uh, on all the streaming platforms. And I think when we didn't get a chance to race last year, we were always following what the professionals were doing. So to finally have the race uh, in our own backyard, I'm, I'm sure the uh, um, the response would be, will be has been great, I think. I, I have a lot of friends also who have also signed up for the race and we're all, all really looking forward to taking part at the, um, in all this. All right, Willie, a final question to you. Earlier you mm. mentioned uh, you exp it is more grueling because uh, on sheer distance alone, this is much longer than you have been exposed to in the past. But educate someone like me who doesn't get off the sofa any time for anything. Uh, apart from distance, uh, this particular kind of sporting event, what are the greatest challenges? Final question to you. I, mean, I think, you know, um, the weather is a, it's a huge thing for us in Singapore. Um, and it's always going to be hot. So being able to handle the heat is a really big challenge for us, even though, even those of us who live here. Uh, the other thing is also because of the length of the, the event, nutrition becomes a, a big issue. Your body can only store so much energy, and so you, you will have to continue to fuel yourself through the triathlon, and that's always been a challenge once the event gets a bit longer. So I think it's a big learning curve for athletes who are maybe stepping up to this distance uh, from the shorter course event. But, you know, at the same time, I think it's a, it's a huge challenge that I think a lot of us are looking forward to. Well, Willie, we wish you the very best with your training and with the event itself. And thank you, Sam, as well. That was Sam Renouf, CEO of the Professional Triathletes Organization and triathlete Willie Liu. Thank you very much.